Hi friends, this is Shekhar Srinivasan and in this video we will try to understand what is the difference between a struct and a class. Most of the time in the interviews when do we ask a question what is a struct and what is a class, when should we use struct and when should we use class. The candidates just answered by saying struct is a value type and class is a reference type and then they stop. When we try to ask a question like uh, where we should use struct and where we should use class, then again they repeat the same thing, struct is a value type and uh, class is a reference type and they further add one more statement saying that struct stores the information in the stack memory and class stores the information within the heap. So, now in this video let's try to understand exactly what difference a struct and class is having in its behavior and what is the answer we should provide for this question. To do this let me first add a class difference between struct and class. Let me expand it. Now let's say that I would like to have a class. So I say uh, class point class. In this class, let me try to define some variables. Number one, number two. I would like to have a constructor to initialize the values. So int one and int n two. So I say this dot number one equal to n one. This dot number two equal to n two. I would like to also have a method to display the details. So I say public void show values. I would like to display the values of number one as well as number two. This dot number one comma this dot number two. So once I define this particular thing. I can just try to observe it. A class can have some variables, methods, constructors to initialize the variables, etc. Now let's see how we can do with the structure. So I say struct point structure. I define some variables public int number one and number two. I would like to have a constructor. So I say int n1, int n2 this dot number one equal to n1 this dot number two equal to n2 i can just try to observe it like class even a structure can have some variables and a constructor let me try to define a method for displaying the values so i can just even observe this a structure can also have a method So I don't find much difference between defining a structure as well as defining a class other than the keyword class and struct. Now if this is the case when should I use a class and when should we go for structure. To understand this let us try to start with the behavioral functionalities of a class and a structure. I try to have a main method. First let me try to create an object for the point class. I provide some value called it as 10, 20. And then what I try to do is I say after object for class created. Let me try to display the value. So I call a method called it as show values. Now once I display this information, I write a method called it as modify class values and I pass this object of this particular class and after modify class values method invoke, I would like to again display the information. Let me try to provide the definition for this thing. 
so i try to say pc dot number one equal to whatever the value is there plus hundred i am just trying to assign it so we have created an object for the class i am trying to display the values after the object is created calling a method called test modify class values and um, i just specified the values after this thing now let me just repeat the same task for the structure so i try to create an object for the point structure i pass the same ten and twenty for this thing after object for structure created i say ps dot show values and i try to once again call a method called test modify struct values and i pass the ps and i say after modify structure values method invoke let me try to display the values here now let me just try to provide the definition for modify so exactly the same definition what i provided for this let me try to do was ps dot number 1 equal to plus 100 ps dot number 2 plus equal to 100 so we have this particular definition now let me just try to execute this code to understand the differences exactly the same code what i written for the class we have written for the structure also we created an object for both class and structure trying to display the values after the object is created and then calling a method by passing the objects and trying to display the values after this thing now let me just try to execute this we can just try to now observe it after object for class created you got some values called it as 10 and 20 after modify class method invoke the values are 110 and 120 whereas here you can just try to observe it after object for structure created the values are 10 and 20 after modify structure values the values are same to understand further clearly what i try to do is let me just try to add a statement within both the methods so within modify struct values let me try to display the values what i am going to have so ps dot number one comma ps dot number two similarly within the modify class also what i do is within modify class values i try to display the values as ps dot number one comma pc dot number two now once again let me try to execute this we can see that for the class within modify class values whatever the changes i have done the changes are there and once i just came out of the method the values are still carried forward whereas when i just try to observe within a structure within the modify struct values i just try to observe it the values are 110 and 120 but once the values are written back you can observe the values are 10 and 20 so this is the behavioral differences between a class and a structure now let's try to come for a conclusion what is what so i can just try to understand that when i just try to specify a structure with respect to the class i can just simply say multiple variables may have a reference to the same objects it is possible for operations 
on one variable to affect the object reference by the other variable with structure the variables each have their own copy of the data and it is not possible for operations on one to affect the other structs do not support user specified inheritance and they implicitly inherit from type object now whenever we just try to understand that along with this particular differences what i can just notice you can have just observe it when i use a class a reference of that particular object is passed so if any changes has been done within the method the changes got reflected back whereas within a structure a copy has been sent so any changes has been happened it happened on the copy not on the original object so along with the points of this thing the traditional answer you can always include saying that structs are value type and can contain data and functions they don't require heap allocation they directly store their data in the stack constructors are invoked with a new operator but that doesn't allocate memory on the heap struct constructor simply returns the struct value itself that's nothing but a temporary location on the stack and this value is then copied as necessary these are some additional points that you can just add on the structures whereas when it say something called test class some additional points which you can just add is classes are reference type with classes multiple variables may have a reference to the same object objects of classes are stored within the heap memory and its reference will be maintained at the stack so these are some of the points that you can just use while explaining the answer between the struct and class hope this particular video helped you in understanding the difference between a struct and class if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel this encourages me to develop more and more videos thank you yours shaker